lovers and all that. Now, she's obviously very young in the whole in the whole experience of love and sex. And I feel like obviously to her, it's like, fuck that, this is too much. And for us, it'd be too much. I can I, I think we're on her side on this. But for them, they're like, nah, it's immature. Like I, I can see their their side of it. Not that I agree with it, but I can see it. I would say her immaturity only shows in that she said that they've been dating for a year and things are pretty serious. Years not that long. I think yeah. you have been, you, you could cut here, you cut the relationship here and you would be okay. Because like a milk carton, uh, this it, the carton's been opened, yeah. the spout is all fucked up and there's no saving this. You know, you, you can close it, but the milk is going to go bad. Yeah, it's yeah, a perfect yeah. analogy for this. It's pretty much like the carton has been opened from the wrong end and the, the adhesive had to be torn <laughs> off and everything. And it's just, yeah. it's, it's not going to remend. It's not going to mend at all. But no. are we assuming that they've been together for a year and then was introduced to the parents? So everything was going okay until then yes yes Yes. Mm, interesting i i think look we've said we've said that you can't go back from it and i feel like you 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 could i think it'd be very difficult to get that image out of your head Mm -hmm. um and maybe that's what you can't go back from but i feel like if everything else with this guy has been amazing like like he hasn't shown any like warning signs he goes look i did threesomes in my early 20s but now i'm 30 and and i've gone part i've grown past that like it's it was a weird situation that your parents were two of them but like that's it like i feel like you could if you're willing to go past it and and for it I, i feel like you don't need to throw out the baby with the bath water here. Yeah. That being I'm, said, if you can't get that image out of your head, then you have to. I'm with you on that. But I mean, if anything, what it's hap- what's happened has happened. You're, whether the, the boyfriend is still in the picture or not, your parents are still going to be in the picture. So you have to live with them. So what's one extra person like living with the, the situation with the one extra person? And he's probably had other partners in the past before. It just so happens to be your mum and your dad. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. like, it's, it's, it's a tough who was, one. Who was better, me or my mum? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it's a man to know. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask about my dad because I know my dad was better. When, oh, he's so when, good. Yeah, you can, you can yeah, just tell yeah, by oh, looking yeah. at him. When they yeah. get into arguments, he just brings up facts about those those times. But like, guess what? You, well, you know what? And just like, don't say it, don't say it. Yeah. Um, so what would your advice be to Milk Carton then in this situation? Uh, look, I probably would go against what you guys say, but this is speaking for me personally. If obviously mm. some people's opinion, I just think I would have to move on from a relationship mm. like that because it's it's just it's too close and i would think yeah. about it whenever like my boyfriend or girlfriend comes over to eat with my parents it would yeah. be on my mind all the time yeah I, I i feel like if it's always on your mind like if it's you're the kind of person that it's always on your mind like what you said damo you have to let it go you, you have to call the break the relationship off and that's that but if you can get past it and, and feel like the relationship is more than the image of uh, that, then um, I, I think it's worth continuing on. Like if he's shown absolutely zero warning signs, like he's been a perfect gentleman up until that point, I, I don't feel like you need to throw out the, the baby with the bathwater, like I said before. I'm kind of agreeing with you, Damon. Personally, if it was me, I'd probably say, no, nah, I can't sort of live with that <laughs> that information as well. Also, the fact that what was the, what are the chances that it probably happened in their house while you Milk Carton was home <laughs> or something like that? No. Like, like they've been, and it's almost like maybe that was the point where like, oh, I'll take you to go meet my parents. And like the driving in the drive when he's like, wait a second, I recognize this house. Where have I been here before? <laughs> and that awkward moment yeah. when they see each other. I, th- I think it'd just be too much to come back from personally. Yeah, too much history. Right. I, I, I don't think I, I, I think I'm with your, you guys on that, but I feel like there's both sides of it. Like, mm, whatever. Okay. Marcus, Marcus just loves love. He's a hopeless romantic. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. I mean, yeah, it's, it. it's meant to be. It's meant to be. All right. Well, I think yeah. we should leave it there for Milk Carton then. Now, Marcus, you are up next. Yes. What's your useless invention? Well, there's there's two inventions that I really hate, and I've already spoken about one, so I'm going to raise it with you guys, and I, I want to see if you guys will let it slide. Mm-hmm. Um, the one that I hate is the smock that you wear when you're shaving uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. I've spoken about previously, where you, mm-hmm. you connect it to the mirrors, and the smock is meant to be underneath catching all your hairs, and it go into the smock and you just throw out the hairs because mm-hmm. my partner hates the hair in the bathroom. Turns out that that's a shitty invention because not only does the suction caps suck ass, but even if you get them to work, when you try and unhook everything, the hair goes any- everywhere anyway. So mm-hmm. it it defeats the purpose. Hair still goes everywhere and it's a shitty invention. Okay. Um, I've spoken about that, but the other one that I want to talk about is a brand new one. Uh, is, you know, oven mitts? 
Oh, yeah. Of course. Love oven, love oven mitts. But what I don't like is those little square oven mitts, the little ones oh, that yeah. can barely fit on your hands. <laughs> I find myself mm-hmm. burning myself a million fucking times because of these. It's meant to be you're meant to protect yourself from it. But no, I, I can't seem to protect myself from the little square oven mitt. Yeah, well, look, the oven mitt was designed perfectly to be sort of like a replica of your hands. I don't know why we decided we needed to make it smaller and a different shape. So I'm with you on that. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't Fuck think those. They're meant, those are meant to be used as like oven mitts. I always took them as like if you're carrying a hot plate it's like oh. the perfect square to stick under it and carry it that way i don't think you like cram your <laughs> your <laughs> giant hand into a tiny you know square. hole in order well, to use but it why but why is there a slip for your hand like it, it's you know what it's a bad yeah, invention it's because, because you it's not slide clear. in and then you carry the plate you're using oh, it's a, a bad wrong invention because, because the instructions right. are unclear you're right? using it wrong that's buddy. why uh, no, a bad invention <laughs> is when the instructions are unclear. Okay, fair enough. Okay, right. Look, we'll, 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 we'll move on from this because it's not important. <laughs> the square of a mitt writes in. All right, <laughs> is anyone else far too addicted to latex gloves for house cleaning? <laughs> My hubby thinks I am mad. I have three boxes of latex gloves dotted around our house and I wear them for pretty much everything. I just find stuff like cooking raw meat, emptying the trash and cleaning the house without them gross. I think I wear about four to five pairs per day. Is that weird? Square oven mitt. Um, am I am I the only person that doesn't use like gloves of any sort for cleaning as far as like washing dishes or or bins or things like that? even even cleaning the shower, I don't actually wear gloves. Like I'll scrub bleach barehanded. I'll go raw, boys. Really? <laughs> Yeah, dude. I've, been raw. Raw. I've, I've man, I've gotten so much more uh, vigilant with that stuff because mm. now that I'm doing a lot more stuff around my house and I'm using like uh, lacquer based paints and all that type of things. Mm-hmm. There was one day where I was like uh, cleaning my brushes after painting my deck out back, and I was using hot water. And I was not thinking about it. My my bathroom, my bathroom, my laundry is quite small, mm-hmm. and I noticed that I was like unintentionally getting high off the fumes from like using the hot water <laughs> on the on the base paints like the vapors coming off yeah, and yeah. all of a sudden i got this massive head rush and i was like <laughs> oh fuck i gotta sit down like this oh, is boy. not good <laughs> and it was, I, it was just me being dumb and not thinking about it so now i've got like the like the the approved masks and gloves mm. and glasses i use all that stuff when dealing with chemicals because it's just a bad time i didn't i didn't want to trip balls on lacquer paints <laughs> it was not in not in my <laughs> schedule for the day i think the only time i wear gloves is if i'm like doing like yard work where i'm having to like i don't want to get sort of i don't know cut my hands open or something like that that's the only time i wear gloves is for physical protection but for every, anything else i'm like i can just wash my hand if i touch the bin i'm like i'll just wash my hands i feel like that's unnecessary and i don't assume you guys would be I, wearing I, it for bins no i don't i don't wear latex gloves for anything in the house i uh-huh. wear gloves when i'm doing garden work or anything like that because you know nobody wants to get dirt in the, under their fingernails that, that's that shit's a pain in the ass yeah, but true. uh or cuts like you said tom um but i feel like latex gloves around the house is quite excessive <laughs> to say the least i mean granted right now we're in covid so gloves are very accessible at the moment my partner sure. has brought plenty of gloves home so we've got plenty of gloves around the house but i still wouldn't use them for bin or mm. cleaning or anything like that well like tom said i think when it's in the confines of your own home you can feel pretty confident that things are relatively clean mm-hmm. um I, I guess I can I can get for me like if I was cutting up meat and stuff I think it's more the visual like I'd rather wear a blindfold than wear gloves if I was cutting up meat because I don't want to see all the blood and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, it's probably a bit excessive. But this, at the end of the day, if it makes the person feel better and it's not really like I don't think that would annoy me if my partner was doing that. I'd be like, God damn it, she's opened up another box of latex gloves. What's yeah. wrong with her? Like I don't think that would be a point of contention for me. I, I find it personally satisfying touching raw meat and rubbing like you're making meatballs <laughs> with the hands. I, 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 I like, I, I find that the squeegeeness of it, I don't know what it is, but it's just like, it's like Play-Doh, but me, people, I know people hate it. I love it. I think it's what Marcus makes Marcus feel like he's like on higher on the food chain to the animals to be like, this is your carcass. <laughs> I'm, I'm using my bare hands on your carcass. I'm such a man. Um, yeah. I was going to say, is there anything that you have around your house that you might have multiple of or anything that you use in your life that you're like, hey, one is not enough. You've got to have a multiple accessible like things, you know, <laughs> be accessible. I think maybe now it might be things like hand sanitizer. You might have some when you come in the door. You might have some in your car and things like that. But is there anything specifically? Uh, Vaseline is my oh, big boy. one. 
<laughs> let me away. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, there's, hey, there's Vaseline Tom, everywhere do not, in the house. Tom, do not edit the podcast where it just says Vaseline and it ends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the music plays. <laughs> Cut <Yep>. the black. <laughs> No, because I mean, I, I've like suffered with eczema throughout my whole life. So I just like having moisturizer. Like I've got one downstairs in yeah. every single bathroom. At one point, I even something had something called pocket vaso, which was like a, <laughs> it was like a tiny with tub a of vaseline chain. you could stick in your pocket. Yes. Nice. <laughs> wow. All my all my fellow eczema eczema sufferers out there just nodding at, while scratching at the moment. <laughs> They're like, yes, yes. absolutely, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Like um, I just I feel like because there, there are times where like I haven't had it on me and it's oh it's horrible it yeah. is such a bad time so now you can never leave home without it I I don't think I've got anything yeah. in my personal life but I know at least at work um being like involved in um like tech and things like that and and mainly like if I'm doing a lot of like setup and and things like that gaffer tape is one of those things that I will just have littered everywhere amongst my office, amongst various locations around my workplace, just cause you can never, you can never be need to be too far to, to grab some gaff. Gaff is like the every, the every man <laughs> um, adhesive. It's perfect. It'll, it'll solve all of um, the world's problems. I think if everyone had a bit of gaff close to them. <laughs> I could have used your gaffer tape to fix my milk carton, Tom. Yeah. Where were you? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I use gaff on everything. <laughs> I, I I can't say that I have anything like that. That's like, oh, I need it easily accessible that I go grab. I mean, there's one thing that I found now with all, the whole COVID situation going on that my partner does. This is why I brought the question to the table. Yep. And she does it quite a bit. And, I, and, I've, and I've laughed at her a bit. And I completely understand she, she's a doctor in the medical f- profession and she's obviously afraid of germs. So that's cool. But there's been times where she goes nuts on hand sanitizer where it's like, I'm like, you're just using hand sanitizer as like a, a like to wash your hands. But then you go and wash your hands anyway. Like she oh, would yeah. pour hand sanitizer or alcohol thing. She'd wash her hands. And then I'm like, okay, so your hands are now technically clean. And then she goes to the sink and washes her hands. I'm like, so you're washing off the alcohol mm. wipes. I, mm. Like I'm confused with that. But the other thing that she's tended to do recently now, which I, I find funny, I'm like, I'm all for it because it does to protect us. It's Glen 20 and <laughs> yep. spraying everything with Glen 20. Um, I came home one day with a mask on. It was a reusable mask. And she goes, oh, give me your mask because it's it's germ infested. I said, <laughs> I haven't been anywhere. I haven't seen anybody. I only went to the shops real quickly. Didn't see anybody. Grab what I had to do and, and off we went. And uh, she goes, no, no, give it to me anyway. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. She doused my face mask in Glen 20. Um, absolutely doused it. Worst part is we realized I forgot a grocery item and I had to put it back on and go back to the shops <laughs> sniffing Glen 20. And let me tell you, that was the worst experience <laughs> I've ever been a part of. <laughs> I was just like, oh, come on. Now I got to like suck in this air. Like, yeah. I did almost, it turn, I into, did it turn into Glen 420? Were you feeling high <laughs> after breathing in those? <laughs> <laughs> Floating and uh, 99.9% germ free as well. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got to the shops and I put it on. And as I was walking through the shops, I, I felt myself very lightheaded. I'm like, oh, this is this is a bad idea, but I have to go do it. So I was in and out as soon as possible. And then as soon as I took it off, I'm like, man, I hope my lungs are 99% like germ free at this point. Mm. I want to... I have a problem with Gwen 20. I think wherever you smell it, whatever room you smell it in, automatically makes it like smell like somebody took a crap in that room. It yeah. makes it smell like a <laughs> yeah, toilet absolutely. immediately. Yeah. I, I agree that it smells like a certain, it has a certain smell to it, but you guys have associated that smell with poopoo no. smell. And no, therefore- no, no. I think it smells like you've got something to hide. No matter what it is, it smells like you're trying to hide something. And I just don't trust, <laughs> I don't trust a place that smells like Glen 20. Because what happened in here? What went wrong? Uh, I, I mean, and have you, have you been to the bathroom after I've been there, Tom? That It's definitely something that needs to be Glen 20 Smells like Glenn has been in here. I'm pretty sure Glenn, <laughs> Glenn has left the building. So let's bring it back to the question. Let's bring it back to the question, guys. Um, what should this person do? This person has Glatex gloves everywhere and the boyfriend makes fun of her for wearing Glatex gloves. What do you think she should do? I think it doesn't hurt the fact that she's trying to be like, you know, um, sanitary in most, most instances. And that's fine. It doesn't really hurt anybody. And I mean, the only thing you could say is that like it costs money to have latex gloves, but even then it doesn't cost that much to have them. So I think you should like let her do whatever she feels comfortable with. She could have OCD when it comes to cleaning and things like that. So I think that's probably, it was not something that I would have a problem with personally. I, I, I agree with you. And coming from somebody that 
like I'm living with somebody that does look Antonia, I have absolutely zero problem with it. Like <laughs> I, I make fun of her for it, but I ha- I'm like, you know what? This is perfectly fine because at the end of the day, you're killing germs. I'm not getting any hurt from it. You, you, it makes you feel comfortable. Go for it. I, I'm not here to stop you from being comfortable. Yeah, I say love the glove. Yeah. Love the glove. I think that's <laughs> fair enough. All right, let's. 